Hey, time travelers, I'm Steve Nash. And I'm Felicia, and here is our review of About Time. I, um, I just want you to know that, uh, In this game, players form teams and try to guess years of historical and recent events. Inside the box, you'll get a board which has many different spaces, each with a special effect. Pencils and a pad of paper where teams will write their guesses and answers. Cards that will be drawn and used by players to buy time and get hints. An innovative magnetic question reader and hundreds of questions. Tokens to represent each team on the board. A die and tokens to keep track of points. To set up the game, place the board in the center of the table with the characters on the starting line and the deck of special cards on it. Give each team a pencil and a sheet of paper where they will write their answers. The team with the youngest player starts and rolls the die and moves up that many spaces. Whatever they land on, they check the summary sheet and do what it says. Here are some examples. The dual space can make you duel another team head to head. The rat space makes you put half your tokens inside the pool. The Highwayman allows you to take three tokens from another team, and the Time symbol allows you to draw a Time card. Once you've done the special on that space, you can check the color of it and read the questions of that color from the question reader. The hourglass is turned and players must try to guess the closest year of that event. You may play cards in your hand which gives your team an extra 30 seconds and a special hint. Once the time runs out, the team who read the question opens the reader box and removes the card to reveal the year. The team who is closest to the actual year takes the tokens that are in the pool. The winning team rolls the die and a new round begins. This goes on until a team decides to go to the center of the board. Once they reach the center of the board, they can choose any category and if they get it right, they win that round. They get 5 points and the game ends. The team with the most points wins. So it's basically a trivial pursuit type of game which focuses on time related events only. The first couple of rounds were like, these questions are way too hard. But then we realized that we had placed the advanced questions instead of the starter questions in the reader. <laughs> I like the fact that each space has a special ability and that cards can be played to help you win a round. I also like the timeline on each sheet of paper which gives players an idea of when things happen. It's a great game to learn and have fun at the same time. It's a nice production quality and I'm giving it a 7.5 on 10. I think this is a game for people who like trivial games and history. If they would come out with a deck of questions from the year 1920 to 2010 only, it would have been a lot more fun for younger players as well. We removed all the years before that and had a better time playing this way. The rule book needs to be better. I'm giving it a 6.5 on 10.